Thank you, Lord, you are holy. Yes, forever you are God. We thank you, Lord, you are holy. Yes, forever you are God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, you are God. Ah, hallelujah, 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 you are God. Our Lord and our God, we thank you tonight because you are good and your mercy endures forever. Thank you because by your strength you have continued to support us, to carry us, to lift us and to help us. Thank you for bringing us even into this season of tiring on the altar of intimacy. And thank you for bringing us even to this day, the sixth day, even on this journey. Lord, we give you the praise because you have helped us and we know that you will help us. Blessed be your name forever in the mighty name of Jesus. So Lord, tonight we ask that the words of our mouth and the meditation of our heart shall be acceptable in your presence. In the name of Jesus. Holy Spirit divine, we ask that you help us and take all the glory tonight. As we embark on this journey, singing and praying psalms to you, Lord, we ask that you strengthen us. Thank you, Father, because you do not fail. You have never disappointed and you won't stop now. Thank you, Jesus. Blessed be your name, O God. In Jesus' mighty name, I have prayed. You are God. You are God. You will always be God. Oh, Jesus, you were God. And you are God. You will always be God. So, dear friends, we big welcome you tonight to the altar of intimacy. This is the sixth day of the 39th of uh, singing psalms, praying psalms, both in understanding and in tongues. In the Holy Ghost, we thank the Lord because He has helped us thus far, and indeed, He will still help us tonight and forever. So we welcome you in the name of Jesus. By the grace of God tonight, we are going to be singing and praying from Psalms 32 through 36. Psalm 32 through 36. And we trust God to help us in the name of Jesus. Do not forget to share this link across to your friends, your family, your acquaintances. Do not also forget to hit the like button. If you've not subscribed to this channel, please can you kindly do that. And while you're told to comment, kindly do that with all joy. The Lord bless you in the name of Jesus. Each time you comment, you are simply declaring that reality of the scriptures that we have just discovered. The Lord bless you in the name of Jesus. So we start tonight in the name of the Lord. We are starting tonight from Psalm 32. From Psalm 32. Now, this Psalm 32, of course, written by David. It's a very powerful psalm, which is a reminder of God's love and faithfulness to forgive sins yes this psalm is a reminder of God's love God's care is his unending capacity and ability to forgive sin now this Psalm 32 is actually situated within um, the historical context of David's sin David's sin this psalm is actually focused on on, on forgiveness asking for forgiveness so this was this, this the historical context behind this is about david's sin of of adultery and murder if you can recollect the scriptures the the, the, the biblical account of david's sin with bathsheba in which he committed adultery with bathsheba and he also murdered a husband raya yes although Although some theologians have argued that yes, it was not mentioned in this point, it's obvious that David was was writing this. Or David composed this psalm with a penitent heart and a sober spirit, asking God for forgiveness. Hallelujah, Hallelujah. Now the sin became a burden 
upon David and it weighed him down. In fact, it made him sick. It made him sick. But he believes that God's ability to forgive sins is a certain relief for him. And of course, Prophet Nathan confronted David. Prophet Nathan confronted David and that made David knew that God is everywhere and his sin cannot be eaten. I want to tell you also tonight, is there anything you think you have done in the past and you think is eating? I've come to tell you today, my dear friend, nothing is eating from the presence of God. You had better just acknowledge the fact that you sinned and go to God with a penitent heart, heart asking for forgiveness. Hallelujah. And one thing I can assure you of is that as long as you approach God with a penitent heart, sober spirit, and you ask for forgiveness, He's always ready to forgive you. In fact, by through the death and the blood of Jesus, our sins are already forgiven. We just need to shield ourselves to this provision of redemption and, and accept the forgiveness, the forgiveness that is already made available by the death, resurrection, and the blood of Jesus. The Lord bless us as we take this psalm in the name of Jesus. So we take Psalm 32 in the name of the Lord. Psalm 32. Psalm 32 has 11 verses. That's 11 verses and so we sing true. Amen. Blessed is he whose transgression is forgiven, whose sin is covered. Blessed is the man unto whom the Lord imputed not iniquity, and in whose spirit there is no guy. When I kept silence, my bones waxed old through my roaring all the day long. For day and night, thy hand was heavy upon me. My moisture is turned into drops of summer. Sailor, do not forget each time you reach sailor, it's a time to stop, to pause, think, to reflect. Should I tell you the truth? See, each time there is a sin, each time there is a sin, and you keep it to yourself, each time you keep a sin to yourself and you keep silent, it makes it makes your bone wax old. It makes your bone wax old. Because when you keep a sin within you, I tell you the truth, it will make things difficult for you. Take note, whenever you keep any sin and you do not acknowledge it, it makes things so difficult for you. So the earlier, the better you acknowledge your sinfulness and you come to God for forgiveness. And He's always there to forgive you. Sin, unconfessed, would always make the hand of God to be heavy upon you. And it will make a soothing period to become a mourning period. May that not be your experience in the name of Jesus. So my dear, Begin to reflect upon your life. That is the essence of this psalm tonight. Is there any sin that is lurking around your door that you have kept for a long time and you think you, 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 you don't need to speak about that again? If you cover your sin, it will make your bones wax old. Hallelujah. Let's proceed. Let's proceed. Now, I acknowledge my sin unto thee, and my iniquity have I not eat. I said, I will confess my transgressions unto the Lord, and thou forgave the iniquity of my sin. Very simple. Each time you come to God, you approach Him for forgiveness. He's always ready to forgive you. Can you just quickly go to the Lord right now before we move on to the next verse? Go to the Lord right now 
and say to the Lord, Lord, I confess my sins. Every sin you can remember, can you just begin to confess them right now? Confess them right now. He's faithful and just. He's faithful and just to forgive our sins each time. We, we, we confess them and we repent from them. So can you go ahead and confess, Lord? Lord, I confess and I repent. Lord, I confess and I repent. That sinfulness you had, that that sinfulness you had said, mm, I can't do without. Can you say to the Lord right now? Once you acknowledge your sin, He will forgive your iniquity. Lord, I acknowledge my sinfulness. It's a sober sound. It's a sober sound. But I acknowledge my sinfulness, I acknowledge my, I confess my transgressions, and I ask for forgiveness. Forgive me, Lord Jesus. Forgive me, Lord Jesus. Have mercy, Lord. In Jesus' mighty name, I have prayed. Amen. Your sins are forgiven in the name of Jesus. Now let's proceed. For these shall everyone that is godly pray unto thee in a time when thou mayest be found. Surely in the floods of great waters they shall not come nigh unto him. Once your sins are forgiven, no matter what the great waters can be, your sins are forgiven and the great waters shall not come near to you. So you are secured, you feel secured. Hallelujah. Thou art my hiding place. Thou shalt pre preserve me from trouble. Thou shalt compass me about with songs of deliverance. Yes, that is what forgiveness of sin does. That is what forgiveness of sin does. Amen. It surrounds you with song of deliverance. I will instruct thee and teach thee in the way which thou shalt go. I will guide thee with my eye. not as the horse or as the moon which have no understanding whose mouth must be held in with bit and bridle lest they come near unto thee many sorrows shall be to the wicked but he that trusts in the Lord mercy shall compass him about be glad in the Lord and rejoice Ye righteous, and shout for joy, all ye that are upright in heart. Can you raise your voice unto the Lord right now? And say, Lord, because I have confessed my sins unto you, henceforth, let me live in the reality of your mercy, that I may rejoice in you for heaven. Lord, I have confessed my sins and I have accepted, I have received forgiveness. Therefore, Lord, let your mercy encompass me. Let your mercy encompass my life. In the name of Jesus, let your mercy encompass my life. Let your mercy surround my life. Let my life be the reality of your mercy. Let my life be the reality of your unending mercy. Let my life be the reality of your, unending, of your unending mercy. In the mighty name of Jesus, that I may rejoice forever. That I may rejoice in you forever. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, I para via na ma ushke para ma doku breke te ken beni adama. Amana mru subre ke falu shere agabanata finanda na mana ma. Belam de ko subre ke taya daba shere anda rosia. Broka pate fiki kurim bedam bo shibu ko fali diana. Emana raba te ke subre ke te yada da mana ma. Emana na mana ma. Ye katas fito riaparosh ke palada the righteous shall rejoice and the upright shall shout for joy the righteous shall rejoice for the Lord God makes him glad and the righteous shall rejoice 
and the hope I shall shout for joy. The righteous shall rejoice, for the Lord God makes him glad. So have mercy, oh have mercy, and compass me with your love, O oh Lord. Have mercy, oh, have mercy, that I may rejoice in you, that I may rejoice, Lord. May you rejoice my heaven by the mercies of the Lord. Jesus mad name can you go to the chat box right now go to the chat box right now and say I have received mercy yes go to the chat box right now and put it there I have received mercy I have received mercy I have received mercy yes Jesus I have received mercy I have received mercy yes Jesus I have received mercy are you putting it in the chat box comment right now I have received mercy and then I made a banana 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 we sing from Psalm 33 in the name of the Lord. Now, this Psalm 33, composed by David. Now, do not forget that, yes, this, this, this Psalm 33 was composed to, to celebrate the faithfulness of God for victory. For victory over the enemies. Amen. It was, it was composed by David to acknowledge the glory of God who has given him victory over his enemies amen and i pray for you tonight don't forget that you have received mercy from the lord because you have confessed your sins you have you have repented and he has forgiven you therefore i declare on this altar with this reality of the scriptures that no matter the battle you are going through presently your victory is established god gave david victory over his enemies he will give you victory too in the mighty name of Jesus. Now, the historical, the historical battles that we could situate Psalm 33 with, well, refers to two, two quick battles came to mind. Amen. Two, 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 two battles that that David had victory for comes to mind. Now, the first one that we could situate Psalm 33 in is. David's victory over the Philistines at Mount Gibwa. David's victory over the Philistines at Mount Gibwa. Now, it was at this point in time, of course, David engaged the Philistines at Mount Gibwa. He engaged them in the battle and God gave him victory. And the truth is that the victory at Mount Gibwa was a major turning point, was a major turning point in the reign of David. Because, because it solidified David's reign. It solidified David's reign. Because the power of God and the wisdom of God was made revealed at this point in time. Amen. Amen. I speak to the life of someone listening to me right now. You had fought and fought and fought and fought and it seemed as though the battle will not end. In the name of Jesus, at this altar tonight, we issue these living oracles and we declare that you come to a major turning point in your life. In the mighty name of Jesus, no matter, no matter the battles that you have been confronted with and you have fought and it seems as though it is unending. I declare right now by the reality of the scriptures and the victory that God had given you, that God gave to, 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 to David. I declare that he gives you victory and you reach a major turning point in your life and destiny. In the name of Jesus. 
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now the second the second possible historical event was David's victory over the Amalekites. Over the Amalekites. Now David also went to a battle with the Amalekites, and it was possible that it was when God gave him victory over the Amalekites that he paid this son. And this, 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 this victory over the Amalekites helped David to be able to solidify and tighten the borders of Israel, which then made his reign over Israel to be properly entrenched. I declare right now, that's your life that has been porous. That's your life that has been susceptible and open to the incursion and the intrusion of darkness and enemies over and again. I declare right now that you reach a major turning point. The Lord gives you victory over those enemies and that border is rebuilt in the name of Jesus. We declare that the wall of impenetrable fire of the living God surrounds your life and destiny right now and shields you, shields you, shields you, shields you in the name of Jesus and make your life repellent, repellent to the enemies in the name of Jesus. The Lord surrounds you. I said the Lord surrounds you. The Lord surrounds you by his name, by his glory and by his fire in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Are you ready to sing this wonderful psalm? Are you ready to sing this wonderful psalm? If you're ready to sing this psalm, can you go to the chat box and, and just write Psalm 33. Write Psalm 33 in the chat box. Write to Psalm 33 in the chat box if you are ready. Yes, 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 yes. Let me see you write it. Let us see you write it. Let it come in. Let come in. Let me see Psalm 33. Yes, it shows us you are ready to sing this wonderful psalm. This wonderful psalm of victory unto God. Psalm 33, let it come into the chat box. It shows you are ready. Yes, you are ready. Hallelujah. 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 Yes, Psalm 33. So let's sing through the 22 verses of Psalm 33. Hallelujah. Rejoice in the Lord, O ye righteous, for praise is comely for the upright. Praise the Lord with harp. Sing unto him with a psaltery and an instrument of ten strings. Sing unto him a new song. Play skillfully with a loud noise. Each, each verse of this psalm, there there is at least one song that you can pick from each. Amen. But let's go on. For the word of the Lord is right, and all his works are done in truth. He loves righteousness and judgment. The earth is full of the goodness of the Lord. I declare right now in the name of Jesus that the goodness of the Lord shall be evident in your life from now. Henceforth, I declare, you stop experiencing sorrow. You stop experiencing sorrow. In the name of Jesus, your, do your day of mourning is done. Your day of mourning is over. And the goodness of the Lord shall be filled. Shall be revealing in your life. Your life shall be full of the goodness of the Lord. In the name of Jesus, go to the chat box right now and declare, My life is full of the goodness of the Lord. My life is full of the goodness of the Lord. My life is full of the goodness of the Lord. My life is full of the goodness of the Lord. Day after day and night after night. Day after day and night after night, my life reveals your goodness. My life reveals your beauty. Day after day and night after night, my life reveals your grace. Day after day and night after night. Yes, you are putting it in the chat box. 
Day after day and night after night, my life reveals your good night. My life reveals your good night. Day after day and night after night, my life reveals your grace. By the word of the Lord were the heavens made, and all the hosts of them by the breath of his mouth. He gathered the waters of the sea together as a heap. He laid up the depth of the storehouses. Let all the heart fear the Lord. Let all the inhabitants of the world stand in horror of him. For he spoke and it was done. He commanded and it stood fast. Oh, The Lord bring the counsel of the heathen to naught. He make the devices of the people of none effect. I declare over you right now every device of the wicked against you, against your family, against your household, against your ambition, against your profession, against your marriage, against all that means something to you. All the devices of the wicked fail for your sake. In the name of Jesus, they fail for your sake. In the name of Jesus, the strength of the enemies against your life and destiny, they fall down flat and they come of naught. In the mighty name of Jesus. Can I hear you say amen? Hallelujah. The counsel of the Lord stands forever. The thoughts of his heart to all generations. Mm. Blessed is the nation whose God is the Lord and the people whom he hath chosen for his own inheritance. Quickly go to the chat box before we move to the next verse and say, I am the Lord's inheritance. I am the Lord's inheritance. I am the Lord's inher inheritance. I am the Lord's inheritance. I am the Lord's inheritance. Yes, I am the Lord's inheritance. Hallelujah. 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 Oh, my life reveals your grace. Day after day and night after night. My life reveals your grace. I am the Lord's inheritance. Yes, the Lord looked at from heaven. He beholds all the sons of men. From the place of his habitation, he looked upon all the inhabitants of the earth. He fashioned their hearts alike. He considers all their works. There is no king saved by the multitude of an host. A mighty man is not delivered by much strength. No, no, no. An horse is a vain thing for safety. Neither shall he deliver any by his great strength. Oh. Behold, the eye of the Lord is upon them that fear him, upon them that hope in his mercy. Yes, the eye of the Lord is upon me to deliver our soul from death and to keep us alive in famine. Yes, our soul waits for the Lord. He is our help and our shield oh for our hearts shall rejoice in him because we have trusted in his holy name yes we have trusted in his holy name let thy mercy O lord be upon us according as we hope in thee 
Yes, let thy mercy, O God. Can you take that verse 22 again? Let thy mercy, O Lord, be upon us according as we hope in thee. Can you take this declaration and power it in the Holy Ghost? Don't forget you are still on the altar of psalms and tongues on this altar of intimacy. Declare it unto the Lord. Lord, all the days of my life, my definition shall be your mercy. The definition of my life shall be your mercy. The definition of my life shall be your mercy. Yeshua, palibro kavanati. In the manner come the late te cause break a dana by a gadam the less she break it again. Mela bro na badabana banana day after night day after night night after day morning after morning your mercy i will receive the definition of my life shall be your mercy Brelia Varoshe Poria Faketelia Nabaza, Borako Toko Pasupriki Felica Namande Rosha Palana, the Namana Manama, the definition of my life shall be the mercy of the Lord. In the lace who break a falling the Roko Zimbri Ediana Namanama, Manana Manana Manama, a Capate Keteke Teke Puri Parapo Shipu Kofa Leke Teke 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 Teke, the Leparapo Shipu Kofile Beli Greke to Zubrike Yana Banama, I am Boshalaba, the definition of my life shall be the mercy of the Lord. In the name of Jesus, mercy shall define me, grace shall surround me. Favor shall be my garment. Amaka palete feleka prana. Mercy shall define me. Grace shall surround me. Favor shall be my garment. Yes, so says the Lord of hosts. In Jesus' mighty name, I've prayed. In Jesus' mighty name, I've prayed. Now, can you go to the chat box and put that declaration there? Mercy shall define me. Grace shall surround me. Favor shall be my garment. Yes. Mercy shall define me. Grace shall surround me. Favor shall be my garment. Mercy shall define me. Grace shall surround me. Favor shall be my garment. I am blessed. I am blessed. I am blessed, I am blessed For mercy defines me Don't be distracted, don't be distracted I am blessed, I am blessed I am blessed, I am blessed For grace surrounds me I am blessed, I am blessed I am blessed, I am, blessed. I am blessed. My garment is great I am blessed, I am blessed. I am blessed, I am blessed. Your mercy defines me. I am blessed, I am blessed. I am blessed, I am blessed. For favor clothes me. I am blessed, I am blessed. I am blessed, I am blessed, your grace surrounds me. I declare upon this altar tonight that in the name of Jesus, all the days of your life, mercy shall be your definition. I declare in the name of Jesus, the grace of the Lord shall surround you. I declare upon this altar, this oracle proceeds from here, that your life is clothed as a garment by the favor of the Almighty. In the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So we'll move on to the next psalm. We'll move on to the next psalm. Amen. Amen. 
move on to the next psalm and that's psalm 34 move on to the next psalm psalm 34 amen now this psalm 34 is a psalm of praises unto god to express one's comfort by having confidence in the lord amen amen it's a psalm to, to, to sing praises unto the lord and a psalm that expresses one the comfort that one has by putting your confidence in Yahweh. Amen. Amen. Now, this psalm came forth when David, when God gave David over his, he gave him victory over his enemies. He delivered him from the hands of his enemies. Hallelujah. Now, there was the possibility that this psalm was penned down at a point in time when David had to pretend to be mad before Abimelech. If you can recollect that incident in the scriptures. You know, David had it so rough. He was, he was, he was, he was on the run. He was on the run due to the betrayal, due to the jealousy, due to Saul's hatred for him and of course he at this point in time he was fleeing from King Saul he was fleeing from King Saul so he went to the Philistine city of Gath but the king of Gath by the name Achish recognized him and was afraid that he would betray him to Saul so David had to pretend that he was insane he had to pretend that he was mad so that Akish drove him away Akish sent him away so 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 you can imagine the kind of situation that one would find himself the kind of possible condition that one would find himself and the only escape the only escape route would be having to pretend to be insane I declare that such frustration will not rest upon your tabernacle in the name of Jesus. And if by adventure you are going through something even tougher than that presently, the mighty hand of him who is called Yeshua will rescue you in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. So this psalm was penned down after it was possible, the possibility that this psalm came to bear after David's encounter with Achish, the king of Gath, the Philistine. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So it is it is a powerful psalm to praise the Lord. Amen. 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 Now can we sing this psalm together? Sing the, let's sing this psalm together, Psalm 34. Psalm 34. I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall continually be in my mouth. My soul shall make boasts, shall make a boast in the Lord. The humble shall hear thereof and be glad. Oh, magnify the Lord with me and let us exalt his name together. Oh, magnify the Lord with me. Let us exalt his name together. My soul will make a boast in the Lord. I my mouth will bless his name. Oh magnify the Lord with me. And let us exhort his name together. My soul will make a boast in the Lord. And bless his name forever. You will sing a new song to the Lord. Ah, you will get to a point in time in your life as a result of the encounter you are having on this altar of intimacy in this season that you will invite friends, families, colleagues, associates to magnify the Lord with you. 
in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus on that note can I encourage you you have not shared this link to people can you share it across all platforms and invite them begin to do the reaxal of how you will invite them to magnify the Lord with you amen share it across platforms you have not liked this video go ahead and like it you've not been dropping your comments begin to drop it right now because after this encounter in these 30 days oh friends families associates colleagues even your enemies will run to you and magnify the lord with you in the name of jesus your soul shall celebrate the faithfulness of the lord in the mighty name of jesus now let's move on i sought the lord and he heard me and delivered me from all my fears what are your fears the lord will deliver you out of them in the name of jesus those of you that are afraid of what tomorrow holds i've come to tell you the good news that the, that tomorrow holds great and greatness and glory for you and that will be your experience in the name of jesus hallelujah the lord shall save you from all your fears go to the comment section and put the lord shall save me from all my fears the lord shall save me from all my fears the lord shall save me from all my fears the Lord shall save me from all my fears. The Lord shall save me from all my fears. The Lord shall deliver me from all my fears. The Lord shall save me from all my fears. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. What are your fears? You are delivered from them right now in the name of Him who is called Yahweh. The name of Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 All right, let's move on. Let's move on. Let's move on. He delivered me from all my fears. They looked unto Him and they were lightened. And their faces were not ashamed. What a wonderful psalm, my Lord. I declare in the name of Jesus, your path is lightened. In the name of Jesus, your face will know no shame. You will never be ashamed. You will never be ashamed. You will never be ashamed. You are at the verge of shame. Shame will not catch up with you because there is a turning point. You have just arrived at the turning point. Shame will not catch up with you. The Lord shall rescue you. He shall deliver you in the name of Jesus. Oh, Bakudi, your face shall be enlightened. Your face shall be enlightened. Shame will not catch up with you in the name of Jesus. This poor man cried and the Lord heard him and saved him out of all his troubles. Ah, the Lord will save you out of all your troubles. In the name of Jesus, the angel of the Lord encamped round about them that fear him and delivers them. Ah, can you go to the chat box? I receive angelic ministrations. I receive angelic ministrations. I receive angelic ministrations. I receive angelic ministrations. I receive angelic ministration. I receive angelic ministrations in the name of Jesus. Yes, have you put in the chat box? As you have put in the chat box and you have declared with your mouth, shall be your experience. In the name of Jesus, the angel of the Lord encamps he encamps around the righteous and he saves them from all the troubles. You are delivered from all troubles in the name of Jesus. Oh, tastes and see that the lord is good blessed is the man that trusts in him yes oh fear the lord ye saints for there is no want in them that fear him your life will never lack anything good again in the name of jesus i say your life will never lack any good thing again in the name of jesus look at the next one it's a very explosive one just a very explosive one and once you declare it once you read it you declare it you are going to quickly take a 30 seconds prayer and you are going to take it with all strength in you the young lions do lack and suffer hunger 
but I that seek the Lord shall not want anything good. The young lions do lack and suffer hunger, but I that seek the Lord shall not want any good thing. Now, can you quickly take that 30 seconds prayer? All my life I am graced to seek the Lord and I shall not lack any good thing. All my life I am graced to seek the Lord and I shall not lack any good thing. All my life I am graced to seek the Lord. I shall not lack any good thing. Power it in the Holy Ghost, somebody. Elirosia broko fadi no prende kani tu bareche lenda kapando rameniata. I am graced to seek the Lord. I will stop seeking the Lord. And so, in the name of Jesus, I shall not lack any good thing. No good thing shall be taken away from me. Have the zubre farus you break a failure and a ramana. Amana namana koshe parofia kata. Oh, thank you, Yeshua. Thank you, Yeshua. Amen. 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 Put it in the chat box, your declaration. I shall not lack any good thing. Put it there. I shall not lack any good thing. I shall not lack any good thing. In the name of Jesus, in the name of him who is God I am, you shall not lack any good thing. Amen. Amen. So let's move on and sing in this psalm. Come, ye children, I came unto me, I will teach you the fear of the Lord. What man is he that desire life and love many days that he may see good. Keep thy tongue from evil and thy lips from speaking guile. Depart from evil and do good. Seek peace and pursue it. That's an instruction for you. Don't forget that you always have to be a living sacrifice. So depart from evil and do good. Seek peace by all means amen the eyes of the lord are upon the righteous and his ears are open unto their cry so if you want the, the eyes of the lord to be upon you and his ears to be open unto your cry what should you do depart from evil keep your tongue from evil keep your lips from speaking god do good do good depart from evil seek peace and pursue it hallelujah hallelujah yes let's go on the face of the lord is against them that do evil to cut off the remembrance of them from the health listen to me some people will cause trouble for their offsprings some people will live a life that will bring their offsprings into serious catastrophe and calamity but if you want the if you want your remembrance to be blessed if you want your offspring to, re, to, to remember you in years to come and bless your memory, do good today. Because the scripture says that the Lord will cut off the, the remembrance of the wicked. He will cut off the remembrance of the wicked from off the earth. May your remembrance not be cut off in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 The righteous cry. And the Lord hear it and delivered them out of all their troubles. I say again on this altar tonight, the Lord will deliver you out of your troubles in the name of Jesus. The Lord is nigh unto them that are of a broken heart and save such as be of a contrite spirit. Yes, many are the afflictions of the righteous, but the Lord deliver him out of them all. He keepeth all of his bones, not one of them is broken. Can you dwell on this psalm, on these two verses? 
Many are the afflictions of the righteous. But the Lord delivered him out of them all. He kept all his bones. Not one of them is broken. Can you power that in the Holy Ghost? Declaring that, oh God, you will deliver me out of all my afflictions. Possipa kapana tavanata. Balero breke follow re kam de labo shebra kavanata brianda filia do hospri. You will deliver me, Yeshua, out of all my afflictions. And that loo vria baro proko fiti kete liparamandiana masubri kete. You will deliver me, Yeshua, out of all my afflictions. None of my bones shall be broken because of any of the afflictions I presently go through. You deliver me, Yeshua, out of all of my afflictions. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, I speak over you. That the Lord who is called Yahweh delivers you out of all your afflictions. By the time the days of these afflictions are over, by the time the days of these afflictions are over, which begins from now, you will sing a beautiful song that my bones are intact, my bones are intact, my bones are not broken. The Lord saved me and delivered me out of all my afflictions. This will be your testimony in the name of Jesus. Do I hear you say amen? Oh, thank you, Jesus. Evil shall slay the wicked. And they that ate, the righteous shall be desolate. The Lord redeemed the soul of his servant. And none of them that trust in him shall be desolate. So will you trust in the Lord? Will you trust in the Lord? Will you trust in the Lord? If you will trust in the Lord, put it in the chat box. I will trust in the Lord. If you will trust in the Lord, put it in the chat box. I will trust in the Lord. Put it there. I will trust in the Lord. Trust in the Lord. Wait on the Lord. And He will renew your strength. Very simple song. Trust in the Lord. Wait on the Lord. And He will renew your strength trust in the Lord wait on the Lord and he will renew your strength trust in the Lord wait on the Lord and he will renew your strength the Lord will renew your strength he will save you out of all the afflictions he will redeem you from all your troubles and he will renew your strength such that you will have a beautiful story to tell and you have great testimonies to share in the name of Jesus hallelujah yes have you put it in the chat box I will trust in the Lord yes hallelujah hallelujah Hallelujah, hallelujah. Hey, Lion of Judah, my trust is you. Ancient of days, my trust is in you. Seriki Dunia, my trust is in you. I put them all in you. My trust is in you. Oh, I put them all in you. My trust is in you. I put them all in you. My trust is in you. Oh, I put them all in you. My trust is in you. Amen.
So let's move on to the next Psalm, Psalm 35. Psalm 35. Now, this next Psalm is a very emotional Psalm. Psalm 35 is a very emotional Psalm. Because this Psalm came at a point in time that David was facing a stiff opposition and he was in the middle of both political and military challenges. David was in the middle of both political and military challenges. Now it was possible that this psalm came up during the reign of David when he faced stiff opposition from his son Absalom. And it was also possible it is also possible that David wrote this psalm during his exile from the Philistine territory when he was facing very serious opposition from the Philistines. Don't be surprised that why are all these things coming up? The life of David was characterized with a lot of battles. He fought a lot of battles. He fought a lot of battles. He had a lot of issues. But one thing is the Lord delivered him all. He delivered him out of them all. And I am here declaring upon you also that it does not matter the number of challenges you are confronted with or the number of battles you have to face. You have to face and fight for you to bring to bear that greatness that the Lord has deposited in you. It does not matter. The Lord will give you victory out of them all. He will give you victory over them all. It will make you triumph over all your enemies. And you will have beautiful testimonies. You have wonderful stories to, to tell because the Lord turns around your captivity. Hallelujah. 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 So, so David was full of emotions. He was expressing anger. He was express, expressing frustration. And he also expressed fear in this one psalm. This one psalm of 28 verses. He expressed fear. He expressed frustration. He expressed anger in this one psalm. Yet, he expressed his trust and confidence in the Lord. Knowing that the Lord will deliver him. And truly the Lord delivered him. So therefore I am declaring upon you also that the Lord will deliver you out of all your troubles. Do I hear you say amen to that? I say the Lord will deliver you out of all your troubles. In the name of Jesus. He will deliver you out of all your troubles. In the name of Jesus. He will deliver you out of all your troubles. In the name of Jesus. He will deliver you out of all your troubles. In the name of Jesus. The more the prayer you are hearing, the more you are typing amen. The more prayer, the more amen you are typing. And the more you are typing amen, the more you share it across platforms, across to your friends, your acquaintances. Now I declare again that the Lord shall deliver you out of all your troubles keep declaring amen keep typing amen keep typing amen. Amen. amen 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 the lord delivers you out of all your troubles he will deliver me too out of all my troubles in the name of jesus yes on the on the on the, on the lighter note some scholars said that uh, this psalm was written during jeremiah's time that but it asks for vindication and all of that but we are focusing on david's part of it but i just had to tell you that so that you also know that there was a possibility of that amen so psalm 35 psalm 35 can we sing this psalm together now everybody plead my cause oh lord i've told you that david was in the middle of a very serious situation so it was very emotional so will you also go emotional that the same power that is behind this scripture might be at work in you at the moment amen plead my cause oh lord we them that strive with me fight against them that fight against me take hold of shield and buckler and stand up for my help Draw out also the spear and stop the way against them that persecute me. Say unto my soul, I am your salvation. These three verses, can I hear you say amen? Let me hear you say amen. This is a very emotional psalm. So don't just take it. Don't take it. As you are taking it, you are taking it. Pray. You are taking it. Pray. You're taking it praying. So be at alert. Be awake. Be awake. Be at alert. Hallelujah. Have you said amen? 
the Lord will plead your cause. He will draw his spear and his sword against those who have terrified your life. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Let them be confounded and put to shame that seek after my soul. Can you say amen? Amen. Let them be turned back and brought to confusion that divides my heart. Can you say amen? Amen. Let them be as chaff before the wind. Amen. And let the angel of the Lord chase them. Amen. Put in the chat box right now. The angel of the Lord shall chase my enemies. Sutika para poko shikitele para fedana poko poto fila kabanaziana. The angel of the Lord shall chase my enemies. He will put them to flight. The angel of the Lord shall chase their, my enemies. In the name of Jesus, the angel of the Lord shall chase my enemies. Have you put it in the chat box? Have you put it in the chat in the comment section? The angel of the Lord shall chase my enemies. In the name of Jesus. Let their way be dark and slippery. Amen. And let the angel of the Lord persecute them. Amen. As you are saying amen, make sure you are dropping amen in the chat box. Amen cannot be enough. The more you hear prayers, the more you declare, I believe, I lie. It comes to pass. For his word is yea and amen. For without cause have they eat for me their net in a pit. Why? Which without cause they have digged for my soul. Ah. Let destruction come upon them at all awares. Amen. Ah. Solabura falapata fiki pali rumba subrena. And let his net that he had eat catch himself. Amen. And let Panon Brakia Labaya into that destruction. Let him fall. Amen. Laria Kapate Karofa Kapadina Pali and my soul shall be joyful in the Lord he shall rejoice in his salvation Amen all my bones shall say Lord who is like unto thee which delivered the poor from him that is too strong for him. Ha! Yea, the poor and the needy from him that spoileth him. Oh, Mariani Kapakus Pukafili Dianama. I am declaring again on this altar tonight. We declared this a few days ago. You can go back to that video and stream it and take the prayers again. But I am declaring on this altar tonight that from the hands of those that are stronger than you, from the hands of those that are too strong for you, the Lord shall arise in his mighty power today and shall deliver you. Amen. Have you dropped amen in the chat box? Don't stop dropping amen. Let the amen keep coming. Let the amen keep coming in. Amen. False witnesses did rise up. They led to my charge things that I knew not. They rewarded me evil for good to the spoiling of my soul. Are you here? You are crying that uh, it is what I don't know anything of. That, that has been written concerning me. Hey, listen to me. You are not the first person that will have to go through that. You can remember, you can, you can see now, thousands of years ago, King David also went through it. If he had not gone through it, he would not have written this. So your case is not new. But this time around, your case will be different. 
because they succeeded against you in the past this time around they will not succeed again in the name of jesus i said they will not succeed again in the name of jesus do i hear you say amen to that amen but as for me when they were sick my clothing was sackcloth i humbled my soul with fasting and my prayer returned into my own blood, into my own bosom. I behaved myself as though he had been my friend or brother. I bowed down heavily as one that mourned for his mother. But in my adversity, they rejoiced and gathered themselves together. Yea, the up the the objects gathered themselves together against me and I knew it not they they did fear, they did tear me and cease not with hypocritical mockers in feast they gnashed upon me with their teeth hey, can you imagine how emotional this king was Lord how long will thou look on rescue my soul from their destructions my darling from the lions oh listen are you here tonight and it seems as though those you've been so emotional about they keep breaking your heart they keep betraying you you've been in the midst of traitors and you've been and you've been you've been feeling like ah all my life i give my best to them but they keep disappointing me listen to me don't be disappointed it is only the lord that you should trust but see put your trust in the lord because he will show up for you i said the lord will show up for you in the mighty name of jesus yes they have rewarded your your your, your good with evil don't be heartbroken because the Lord will rise on your side in the name of Jesus. Therefore, I will give thee thanks in the great congregation. I will praise thee among much people. Let not them that are my enemies wrongfully rejoice over me. Neither let them wink with a high that hates me without a cause. For they speak not peace, but they devise deceitful matters against them that are quiet in the land. Yea, they opened their mouth wide against me and said, Ha! Ha! Our heart, our eyes have seen it. This thou hast seen, O Lord. Keep not silence, O oh Lord, be not far from me. Steer up thyself and awake to my judgment, even unto my cause, my God and my Lord. Judge me, O oh Lord, my God, according to the righteousness, and let them not rejoice over me. Let them not say in their hearts, Ha! Ah, so would we have it let them not say we have swallowed him up let them be ashamed and brought to confusion together that rejoice as my heart let them be clothed with shame and dishonor that magnify themselves against me let them shout for joy and be glad that favor my righteous cause yea let them say continually let the Lord be magnified which thou, which are pleasure with the prosperity of me is servant. And my tongue, my tongue, my tongue shall speak of thy righteousness and of thy praise all the day long. Oh, everything you have declared of this altar tonight, as you open your mouth and you power it in Holy Ghost tongues right now, they come to manifestation in your life. Subana bala boshe praka fatima lamda lazo si prene hat. 
Elubrafe Corrosia Parosh, que te mande valeta. Indre te kete poko bateli baramba la shebuna fiandi. Ayala badre keto subriki and the valonche briniata. Empelevriero subreka filipro oche geriandata. Injila suscite le corrope and the veke bani kopa tekete. The psalmist says, My tongue shall speak of thy righteousness and I thy praise and of thy praise all day long. Can you speak of the righteousness of the Lord now and of his praise with your tongue? With the Holy Ghost tongue, Pia Fiata Fala Prende Fala Kubrina, and the Brina Mashemda Kapanas in the Letia La Panosia, Ayele Cricket, Cricketaya Namalo Shepherdata, Prete Capas, Fele Prende Yadama, Mele Pano de Punde Pale Oshepina Felecate, and the Cupria Meshilia and the Posi Prina Cata. Brandon Dali Kosubrikite Yada. You are exalted, O God, above all heavens. You are exalted, O Lord, above all heavens. Yes, your glory is above all the earth. Yes, your glory is above. All the end. you are exalted, O oh Lord, above all heavens. Susitele Baravana, you are exalted, O oh Lord, above all heavens. Imadro Mayada, yes, your glory is above all the end. Yes, your glory is above. All the end. Yes, let's go to the last psalm for tonight, and that's Psalm 36. That is where we're gonna be. We are gonna be resting tonight. That Psalm 36. Now, this last psalm for tonight, that's Psalm 36, is a psalm of deep meditation. Is it psalm by David? However, which is it, it, it is born out of deep meditation deep meditation on the contrast between the wicked and the righteous the wicked are being are, they are described as being deceitful they are arrogant they are destructive while the righteous are humble they are compassionate they are loving now but the psalmist is saying that whatever it is I will still choose to live a righteous life whatever it is I will choose to live a righteous life I will not live in wickedness because the goodness of the Lord remains perpetually on the righteous and our hope there is hope for us for, 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 for our deliverance from the wicked I've come to give you the message of hope today. Even though it was possible at this time that maybe David was under the persecution by Absalom, by, by Saul, or in the hands of the Philistine. But the Lord delivered him. In the name of Jesus, as you take these 12 verses in this, in this Psalm 36, the Lord will arise on your side and he will deliver you out of your affliction. It does not matter the level of wickedness that you've been exposed to and you've been victimized. No, it doesn't matter the level of the victimization that you have been exposed to. We declare that in the name of Jesus, there is freedom for you, there is hope for you, there is deliverance for you, there is rising for you, there is uplifting for you, there is exaltation for you in the name of Jesus. Cheer up! And let's take this Psalm. Psalm 36. The transgression of the wicked said within my heart and there is no fear of God before his eyes yes the wicked does not fear God for he flattered himself in his own heart until his iniquity be found to be hateful the words of his mouth are his iniquity and deceit he had left all to be wise and to do good he devised mischief upon his bed he set himself in a way that is not good 
he abhors not evil. Thy mercy, O Lord, is in the heavens, and thy faithfulness reached unto the clouds. Yes, that is the hope. That's the hope of the righteous. The mercy of the Lord is above the heavens, and his faithfulness reaches to the earth. The righteousness, thy righteousness is like the great mountains. Thy judgments are a great deep. O Lord, thou preserve man and beasts. How excellent is thy, is thy loving kindness, O God. Therefore, the children of men put their trust under the shadow of thy wings. They shall be abundantly satisfied with the fatness of thy house. And thou shalt make them drink of the river of thy pleasures. For with thee is the fountain of light. In thy light shall we see light. Oh. Oh, continue thy loving kindness unto them that know thee and thy righteousness to the upright in heart. Quickly, let's look at that verse 10. For with thee is the fountain of life, and in thy light shall we see light. Can you declare that the light of God is upon my path? That's verse 9. The light of the Lord is upon my path, and by the light of the Lord I have light. The light of the Lord is upon my path, and by the light of the Lord I have light. Light for direction, light for direction. Out of every confusion, I am not a confused human. I am not a confused person. I have direction by the light of the Lord. I have life. I have light. 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 My Yabrabo ship nothing dies in my hand nothing dies in my hand i am not in darkness i am not in darkness i have light my path of light light surrounds me i am in the middle of light i have light in all that pertains to me in the mighty name of jesus i am not confused I, my head is not bowed down in darkness in the name of jesus in Jesus my name have we declared go to the chat box and say I have light put it in the chat box I have light yes I have light yes I have light yes I have light I have light in the name of Jesus 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 so so we, we, we take verse 10 again oh continue thy loving kindness unto them that know thee and thy righteousness to the upright in heart let not the foot of pride come against me and let not the hand of the wicked remove me there are the workers of iniquity falling they are cast down and they shall not be able to rise now this note take this very serious prayer tonight and declare that in the name of Jesus everyone who walks against my progress they shall fall and never rise again Amato poko pate para foko breke teli barama shabanata everyone who walks against my progress against my blessings against my upliftment against my prosperity everyone who walks against my career my profession my ministry my marriage and that the my 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 partnership my profitable partnership my relationships are profitable everyone who 
works against them, they are wicked. They are workers of iniquity. Therefore, they shall fall for my sake. And they shall never rise again. They shall never rise again. And the leper of ship the Kedis Yanama and the Kekedima Labashe Priko Prendi Kenya Darahasu and the Rusia Poro Poko Shipreke Tekedia Menapata Kapakata. Can you declare, let the hands of the wicked not be able to remove me in Bredia Robasha Lebreke Teketekete? You are under the sound of my voice and you are afraid that some people are conspiring against you. They want to remove you from that place that you get that you get your livelihood, your prosperity. Ayika Panata, can you raise up your voice and power? Why is it the Holy Ghost? Let the hand of the wicked not be able to remove me. In Bracopate, Brigato Supridiana Mana. Let the hand of the wicked not be able to remove me. In Yamasha Pacapa Napata. On Christ the solid rock I stand. The hand of the wicked shall not be able to remove me. In Riapa Shepro Compatin de Zuziama. Yate Kepete Peta. Japreco Supregia de Vana. Eli Grupo Losha Pacate. And Nakapatelo Supregia. Legs are poor shall bring and the caposia porra teco subrediana legs are poor shall a decate and never do pacata pala. The hands of the wicked shall not be able to remove me in Tripalia dona manianama from the point of my prosperity. A jacapo subrecate and the cruque tesu yapeli rumba capata and the prandayana manama for we have been deep rooted and I am getting fountain of life. A shipuki at palaba. The hands of the wicked shall not be able to remove me. In Bracopo Topo Koziana, the wicked walking against me, they are workers of iniquity. They, they fall for my sake, they fall for my sake, they fall for my sake, they fall for my sake. And the Sosia Pokoba Shalaba, they will never rise again, they will never rise again, they will never rise again. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Him who is Elohim, Maku. The workers of evil, the workers of evil, the schemers of conspiracies, the evil schemers, those with the machineries and devices of evil against my life, they are cast down forever. They will never rise again. They are falling perpetually. They will never rise again. In the name of Oh yes, your glory is above all the earth. Yes, your glory is above all the earth. Go to the chat box and put it there. The workers of iniquity shall not rise against me again. The workers of iniquity shall not rise against me again. The workers of iniquity shall not rise against me again. They are falling forever. Mela parapaka potofi ante pelekete. They are cast down. They are falling forever. Amane mandi anamanama. Shetra kaposu brekete. Lebrana brofi ante brekete. Before we close tonight, before we close tonight, I want to encourage you, dear friends. Do not be selfish. Do not be selfish. If you have been blessed, it is good that you invite others to, to be blessed. Share this link and use your phone, use your airtime to do the work of an evangelist. At such time like this, when you know, once you know that it's about 10, 5 minutes to the commencement of this on the altar, you put calls through to people. If you can even Go ahead, create groups of people that you will be monitoring for them to keep coming all up to the altar of intimacy. When they receive their blessings, they will not curse you. So, encourage people to also join this altar to be blessed. We have been taking powerful psalms, we have been taking them in the, by the power of the Holy Ghost that we are blessed already. Hallelujah. And make sure you like this video because it will also increase the algorithm for you to reach out to millions of people round about the world and the Lord will bless you as you do that in the name of Jesus. Congratulations on completing 36 chapters of Psalm already and I declare that all you have received on this altar are permanent in the name of Jesus. So Abba Father we thank you tonight. Lift up your right hand wherever you are. Abba Father we lift up your name. We declare that in your name all we have decreed 
upon this altar through the scriptures tonight they are permanent in the name of jesus oh those who are waiting for the days of our disgrace that day will not come they will be disappointed in the name of jesus our miracles are permanent the activities of the workers of iniquity comes to an end in our lives in the name of jesus we are more than the conqueror we are triumphant through christ jesus our lord thank you jesus thank you jesus we receive grace to stand perpetually in your will thank you father blessed be your holy name as we go to bed tonight our eyes are open to new things in the world of the lord we see jesus we are blessed of him and our lives are increased forever thank you yahweh in jesus my name i will prayed with thanksgiving so as we leave this altar tonight we are singing yes your glory is above all the earth yes your glory is above all the earth you are exalted oh lord above all heavens you are exalted oh lord above all heavens good night family yes your glory is above you can drop it in the chat box good night bless for us bless the altar bless this channel bless this channel tell us good night let us know we love you tell us you love us too all the earth yes your glory is above all the earth yes your glory is above all the earth god bless you See you at this altar tomorrow. Good night. Let the grace of God and the love of Jesus and the fellowship and the fellowship of the Holy Ghost be with us forever. So let the grace of God and the love of Jesus and the fellowship and the fellowship of the Holy Ghost be with us forever.